Uh, you've reached the High Fashion Hotline. Hi, I walked the dog, washed the car, and took the kids to practice. All that's left to do is get new summer clothes for my family. Just go to Old Navy. Old Navy? Yep, they'll love Old Navy summer styles. And right now, during Old Navy's thank you event, get 30% off your entire purchase, 40% off when you use your Old Navy card. 40% off? That's right. Don't have a card? Open one today in store and save like a super mom at Old Navy and OldNavy.com. It pays to be mom. I'm going to Old Navy now. High Fashion. Old Navy. Valid 510 to 514. 40% off or subject to credit approval. See stores for details and exclusions. You are tuning in to Goldilocks Productions' presentation of a Magical Journey show with Reverend Brian Rawls. Brian is a certified psychic medium, certified fairyologist and realm reader, light language channel, extraterrestrial channel, universal channel, certified angelic communicator and facilitator, light code and star chi code activator. Certified Reiki Master Teacher. Certified Esoteric Energetic Acupuncturist. A Certified Sacred Activations Mastering Me Practitioner. A Multi-Dimensional Galactic Shaman. And a Certified Witchcraft Ceremonial Magical Practitioner. Call in now to reserve your spot on the switchboard. The call-in number is 657-383-1895. Press 1 to take you out of listen mode only. Enjoy this magical and healing show. Hello and welcome. This is your host, Reverend Brian Rawls, uh, and this is the A Magical Journey Show. So, uh, where we always have a nice, fun time uh, together, and especially on a full moon, and a full moon in Scorpio at that. So, uh, it's kind of exciting. Um, the energies of the uh, full moon enhance, uh, uh, really enhance the areas of uh, finances, relationships, and also uh, your intuitive nature as well. So, um, so with the um, full moon in Scorpio, anything's bound to happen. So, uh, um, before we uh, get started here this evening, I do want to make a couple of announcements uh, for the folks that do not uh, get time uh, time enough to uh, ask your question here on the radio show. I will be going Facebook Live tonight at 9 p.m., maybe my 9.05, give or take five minutes, uh, so I can kind of clear out my energy. But at 9 p.m., um, in between 9 p.m. and 9.05, I will be going Facebook Live to answer some more questions or answer as many questions as I possibly can get to. Um, also, uh, I will be doing um, the full moon uh, transmission uh, recording this evening after Facebook Live uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then all participants within that will uh, receive that in the morning um, by 9 a.m. So it's a very eventful night, um, and I hope all of you have y'all's water out to to catch the full moon rays or your crystals out to catch the full moon rays and recharge and uh, release all that um, no longer serves you and kind of uh, brings in a uh, brings in a a new beginning uh, energy for you. Um, They uh, wanted me to mention a little bit about uh, the Scorpio full moon uh, of embracing the sh- uh, shadow aspect um, and allowing for it to come to the surface and then releasing. So, um, so we're gonna um, do a little bit of a uh, light language activation to uh, start the evening off, and then we will take our first phone caller, which is uh, Jay with area code seven one four. But before we do that, I want to start the evening off with a little bit of, of a light language activation. Mm-hmm. 
Tambe e ke tu akataim e ke andu orapi e ti anahi te esogro. Promo ko ti ataiste in ura. Ni do ori ke te mu asta. Ni me e te esho ora ko te ina asta. Rimi ke e tu un ura kin. Ewa ata ayeste en ins. Romo koto ura si en akiat. Rimi ke tu urosh ura pakatai. And the press end. And just allow for the energy to uh, move you through the evening. And we will take our first phone caller with the area code 714, which is J. Hey, Jay, how are you? I'm good. Um, my, hmm. I wanted to know if you had a message from my grandmother or my guides. Okay, so um, the first thing that they pulled, um, they pulled me into a memory. And I don't know if uh, this memory is going to uh, ring a bell with either the grandmother or, uh, or possibly some other loved one. But uh, they're pulling me into a memory of uh, you probably around the age of in between 12 and 14. Um, And I don't exactly uh, understand um, the reason why uh, there is a feeling within the stomach area that's kind of like a um, a burning sensation. something pass, um, or did your grandmother pass from complications with uh, stomach or intestine? Uh, yes, but much later. Much later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So this uh, must be her. Um, so did you spend a lot of time with her? Yes. Okay. So uh, I do feel as if uh, this would be her, and um, I feel as if she is trying to encourage you on a particular, I'm feeling as as if it's a particular uh, transformational time in your life. A lot of things have uh, kind of not been going your way here lately, and then all of a sudden a little bit of luck has swung your way. And now everything's kind of um, going back bland, and you're wondering what's up. So the blandness, the blandness energy um, is the blandness energy is basically the, you moving through these stargates. So I wouldn't worry too much about it being too bland. All right. Um, now is this kind of ringing a bell and uh, resonating with you? Uh, yeah. All right. So basically, just uh, understand your uh, your grandmother's here watching and uh, acknowledging uh, all of this for you, um, and is encouraging you to continue moving forward. That this staleness, this little bland moment that you're uh, that you're going through at the moment, uh, is just of you in a upgrading and a integration time. Uh, we all have to uh, kind of have downtime to upgrade and download the remaining codes that uh, are coming from this past Stargate that opened it on 421, which we're getting ready to get uh, go into the Pleiadian lineup on um, on Monday, and then we'll go directly into the 521 Stargate, and then uh, that's when our mental bodies will be fully through that paradigm, uh, paradigm shift. So um, do understand that it's uh, going to be an interesting, um, I would say, an interesting next 10 days. Um, well, can I ask why I've been feeling really just, dis- I don't know if that's blindness, but it feels more like a disconnect from the place I've been volunteering for a really long time. I just don't feel that connection anymore. The connection is you outgrowing the energy of uh, of that particular mission. Okay, All so right. is it over it's or not... am I going to get over it? 
Um, you have, uh, you've served, uh, well, it's served its purpose, okay? It's served its purpose, and now it's something uh, is basically a choice on whether or not you want to uh, continue to juggle it or let it go. Remember, uh, you are going into a um, a releasing sequence, and when you release, you release multiple things. Oh, well, I mean, I really like giving back, but I just, it doesn't feel good anymore. <laughs> exactly, because you're getting worn out and you're getting exhausted, and that exhaustion is wearing on your, is basically wearing on your spirit. And probably one uh, one of the reasons why you're being, exa- or you're feeling exhausted is the energy shift. And the energy okay. shift, uh, you're going to feel exhausted if your silica is depleted. Uh, I would recommend you uh, eating oatmeal or going to the, uh, like, GNC or Whole Food store and getting you some silica supplement. Not the silica that you find in, like, shoe boxes and stuff like that, but silica that uh, you can actually, um, that is actually, uh, is called, I believe it's called um, horsetail ast- uh, extract. And it's uh, similar to what our hairs, nails, and um, and skin are made of. Uh, and that's what the center of our brain is made of. And that allows for us to receive clear, um, clear hearing and clear seeing um, and clear guidance and brings clarity, and it's sort of like the star seed um, antidepressant. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, and um, happy birthday. Um, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> not quite my birthday yet, but uh, three more days on Saturday, uh, I will be uh, Bill 3-1. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for remembering. Okay. Bye. All right. You have a wonderful uh, night, uh, Jay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So we have uh, a next phone caller uh, ending, or actually with the area code 716, uh, and area code 716, first name and question. Hi, Brian. It's Belinda. Hey, Belinda. How are you? How are you? How you doing? Hope all is well. I am doing good. I'm doing good. What can I help oh, you with tonight? Good. Um, got a question. Um, just pondering on selling my house the past couple of years, and do you see that happening in the near future? Um, just wondering if this summer is the time to sell my beautiful house or not. Okay, I'm hearing it's going to be on the market for a while before it actually sells. So I'm hearing that you'll put it on the market um, before the ending of the summer, but it will not sell until the uh, beginning of the next uh, beginning of next year. Oh, okay. So put it on a, this fall or at the end of the summer, and then it'll mm-hmm. come come around, uh, someone will come around this spring, next spring? Uh-huh. Yep, you definitely uh-huh. need to, uh, you definitely need to kind of make peace with the guardian of the uh, property that you're living on now. Um, there's uh, uh, there's some gritting or some uh, portal tending to that you need to uh, work with with uh, the current guardians of the land. Wow, that's that's funny you said that because that's exactly yeah what yeah mm-hmm, what I have. Um, so yeah, so it's not time for me to leave yet. No, they're showing me. Um, they're actually showing me two serpents. These two serpents are the guardians. Uh, you've got. It seems as if you have a water serpent and an air serpent. So uh, the. So it feels to me like the uh, the property needs to be cleansed, and um, well, yeah, cleansed because you got the air element and you got the water element. 
so with the cleansing of the, uh, the property, you will release uh, a lot of what is sitting there and what it has been kind of hindering you all these years. Really? Any any more tips on that? Uh, are you getting any more? Um, are they saying anything else about well, like how to go ungrade uh, the about property? This? Ungrade what? the property. Ungrade the property. Oh, with do you my. Already have, do you already have uh, crystals in the ground in the property? No, but my house is loaded with crystals. And you know what? I do have uh, rocks outside and stuff, and I always, like, grid this place out. Oh, I, I understand now. So I have to ungrid it. Okay, I have to ungrid you have it. To un, you have to ungrid the uh, the energetic structure of the house because you, uh, the energetic structure is a portal, all right? With you sitting underneath the portal, it's basically... Um, a, it's basically your uh it's basically the energetic uh the energetic structure of what you have going on underneath you is that portal that portal between the two worlds that's the reason why some of the times you can't sleep at night uh is because that portal remains open that portal stays open and uh you have to um you have to kind of cleanse it and release it um, with water and air. And with the water and air serpents, you basically uh, feed them and then you release them. Okay. Okie dokie. Thank you so much. You are very welcome, Belinda. Thank you. Have a good night. You you too, sweetheart. And if you need any assistance with... uh, uh, with more approach to uh, to what I was talking about with um, with making peace with the guardians, let me know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I I will be calling you. I just have to get through this weekend. My beautiful niece is graduating college, so we got to get through this weekend, and then I'll be good to go. <laughs> well, wonderful. I'll, I'll, be call- uh, I'll be calling. I'll be calling you. I'll be calling you soon. Thank you. Have a All great right. night. Congratulations. All right, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, hon. Bye. Okay, next uh, phone caller. But before I do, uh, do this phone call, I want to give the area code uh, or the uh, call-in number once uh, once more. The call-in number is one six five seven three eight three one eight nine five. If you would like to get your question answered, please give uh uh, give me a call at one six five seven three eight three one eight nine five. So we're going to take our next phone caller, and our next phone caller is area code two three one. Hey. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, Hello. I'm good. This is Destiny. Hey, Destiny. How are you? Hey. Um, well, I've kind of got an issue with my sister. Um, her name is Jackie, and she's staying at my mother's house. She's taking care of my mother, who had a stroke. Now, what's happening is, I don't know if she's bringing in negative entities or negative energy, but um, I went over there last week, and I, since I've came back, it feels like something's ringing, ringing out my guts. So I don't know what she's got going on over there, but I know it's not good. Okay, so this is the cord, all right? This is the cord that has oh. been attached to you from her, which you need to uh, you need to learn a little bit of cord uh, hygiene. Cord cutting. Don't cut, the, uh, don't cut the cord. Basically send it back to her. Okay, send it back to her. And basically what you need to do is you need to put uh, put mirrors around you. Okay, mirrors Okay, so visualize outwards. mirrors all the way around me, yeah. Yes, not yeah. facing inwards, facing outwards. Outwards, okay. All wow, right. that's so weird. I actually just did that yesterday, and I hadn't done that in years. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Continue with that practice because uh, because your sister 
Your sister harbors reptilian energy. Reptilian energies are the, um, I guess you should say the, um, the space Evilness. Uh, yeah, yeah, the space demons, for lack of a better word. Um, I but was, yes. Yeah, I was at very, my mom's and um, I could feel it. Swarm in my uh-huh, head. It was just and, swarm, and I felt so sick. I just, I had to go. I had to leave. I uh-huh, had to get up after get hot headed like that. When you get hot headed like that, it's, um, you want to take you a white bath or you want to t- uh, cool down your head because what they uh, want you to do is they um, is basically they attach to a power source. And once they attach to a power source, they heat up the body and then they make your blood boil. So basically that's when you have to cool down the head with a little bit of Florida water on the back of the neck or oh, on the... Um, okay. Um, yeah, so you do, uh, do need to do some clearing work, um, with that. You can even, um, uh, take you a hysop bath. Um, okay. hysop bath is, uh, for, like, uh, removing Like the herb, the herb. Uh, okay. Yeah, hysop. Uh, and, um, and, like, say, for instance, if you're uh, a devout Christian and you feel like uh, you picked up other people's sin or you may have sinned yourself, um, you want to take that uh, high sop, brew a tea out of it, throw it in the water, and then um, and then you want to get in the bathtub with a white candle and you want to pray Psalm 51. And it speaks about Hysop in the psalm saying that um, uh, washing or wash me in uh, Hysop and make me whiter than snow. So Ooh. that basically clears the aura. So um, nice. so it's a very invigorating bath. Um, a lot of uh, practitioners uh, use it for many different things. Um, some of the things is there a discuss. way to somehow clear my mother's house? Because I mean, I well, was fine for like um, three hours. After three hours, my protective shield like wore down, and I was just whoo. You know, I literally just felt so sick after about three hours. All right, so what you want to do with your, with your mother's house? Uh, best thing that you can do with your mom's house is I would plant some tourmaline or some shungite or you can uh, plant some um, some halfway burnt black candles all are, uh, are on the four, pro- uh, four cardinal points of the property and that will uh, lend a protection around them. It's basically kind of like a fiery wall of protection. Some folks use white candles I use black candles because it banished negativity. Okay, okay. Black tourmaline. Right, so just so, take the stones and put them, like, in the ground, like you said? Yeah, put, take of, the stones okay. and put them in the ground, or you can um, take, if you don't have the black tourmaline, you can take uh, half black burnt pillar candles and okay. put them in the ground as well. Okay. Ooh, thank you. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. Is there any other questions that you may have? Um, do I possibly have, okay, you said it was a cord, so it's not a negative entity or spirit, because I was, like, eating so much, like I like I felt like I couldn't eat enough. Like, I didn't eating know if it, it was is spirit. a defense mechanism. Eating is a defense mechanism. It's protective mechanism. boundaries, huh? Exactly. Boundaries. A lot of us. A lot of us eat our feelings, and when we start eating our feelings, we know that we're uh, like shit's off, and we we got to be like, um, hold up, <laughs> wait a minute, and you have <laughs> yeah. to like locate it, and you just basically place your uh, left hand along your chakras, and you feel around your chakras if you feel a cold spot or a uh, like a it was in my solar plexus spot, then. Uh, you basically want to clear that particular spot. You can use um, like a, a Palo Santo stick or a sage stick or a candle flame or you can use your breath if you like. I mean, mm. uh, and the energy is limitless. Um, I know um, 
I know a lot of uh, folks or a lot of um, folk healers that chew up frankincense and then blow um, blow their breath over the, uh, the bodies of the, um, their patients. Okay, wow. So the yeah, left hand, um, you say, so the left hand is like the feeler. Uh, like the well, left hand okay, is the sensitive so, one. So basically you got to uh, realize what... Uh, if you have you have a positive and you have a negative hand, and if, say for instance if you're a right hand person, that's going to be your positive uh, hand. If you have a left hand person, that's going to be your po- uh, positive hand, or uh, or vice versa. I can't remember exactly how it goes. Well, I'm but asking you this I because believe- I I've Go noticed ahead. something with my left hand. I've noticed that my left hand is the one that like I feel the surges in. I feel like literal energy surges in my left hand, so I didn't understand what that was. Well, these stargates are uh, also causing a lot of um, uh, a lot of energy fluctuations, and uh, this energy fluctuations that are going on, the 421 stargate uh, allowed for the um, uh, emotional body to move through the paradigm uh, paradigm shift. And then the 521 stargate is going to allow for the mental body to move through the paradigm shift. And then the 621, uh, um, the 621 <laughs> stargate is going to Ooh. allow for uh, for a move through a physical, uh, or allow for the physical body to move fully through the paradigm shift. We're getting so overall. You're in for it. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting uh, we're getting more like. Um, a uh, little bit too much, uh, um, too much for, uh, or a little bit too much for our, um, for our yeah. Tail, so, yeah, yeah. So just thank you, Brian. Thank you so hike much. Up your you are just pants. like. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hike up your sweatpants. I said hike up your sweatpants <laughs> because things are going to get deep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You are just a virtual knowledge. Base. Awesome. Well, awesome. I Thank you. do have that open crown chakra, so um, a lot of it's infused knowledge. Uh, so, yeah, uh, pick my brain anytime. Actually, pick my brain in probably about 30 minutes on Facebook Live. I'm sure people will love to, um, to hear you pick my brain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. All I will right. see you on You're Facebook. The Facebook after party, right? Yes, the Facebook yes. after party. <laughs> okay. All right, darling. Thanks. Love Bye-bye. you. See you then. Bye-bye. Okay, so we are going to go on to our next phone caller. And our next phone caller is area code 856. Area code 856. Hey, Brian. It's Laura. Hey, Laura, and how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. And what can I help you with? Um, I would like you to tell me if you see me staying on at, at the company where I'm currently working, I, I'm on a contract, or do you see something else coming for me better that I'm going to be applying for and moving on, or do you think I'll be staying where I'm at? Okay, so I automatically heard that uh, the shift from where you're at to where you're going to be at is on its way. Um, I'm hearing middle of June, so um, so you got probably about a good uh, good month grace period of uh, finding something. Uh, it just feels to me like um, this is so not within your league, and it's. Uh, kind of repetitive and something that doesn't um, doesn't spark your interest. Does does this resonate? Right. And, yeah, it doesn't. And so, but I so um, will I be able to find a job before I, I leave this job? Yes, you are, are going to be able to find a job before you leave this job. Uh, it's going to be probably about a um, matter of days before you. Leave this, uh, leave this job that you find this next or this next current job. So it's going to be, uh, you're going to give your notice without 
secure job, a secure job, but you're going to have a job before you leave your job. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So do you know, are they telling you any details about the new job, what kind of job, or where is it going to be, anything like that, long distance, local? They uh, are saying that training is uh, going to be available for this, um, uh, available for this uh, for you to move up um, in this next job that's coming for uh, coming forward, and it, they're not showing me a direct position or of what you're going to be doing. So it could be a management position of some sort. Um, because I'm seeing you doing multiple things. Okay, and that should be coming up in June, right, next month? Yes, yes, okay. next month. I'm seeing right right after this uh, next Stargate. Is, right it, is, it, a local, is it local, though? Um, it local? feels to me like this is, uh, this is a local company, but it does feel to me like you possibly will have to travel for the training. Okay. That's All right. If you well, choose thank to you. do the training. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Yeah, it's it. kind of like a it's kind of like a choice with the to- with the whole training because there are several several positions that will be available for you to choose from with this particular company. Um, do you know what kind of company it is? That I have no clue, and they're not even saying uh, what type of company this would be. Um, They're just saying that uh, this would be a total, um, I would say, kind of like a total, um, uh, I would say probably a total 180 uh, from what you're doing now. Okay, so then I wouldn't, if it's a total 180, I wouldn't know where to begin to look. You know, are, it feels are they to me like this is going to fall in your hands. Really close to me like this is going to fall into your hands and you're going to uh, kind of pick it up uh, with a whim and be very successful at it. So I'm thought, uh, it's very similar to uh, a purposeful, uh, a purposeful driven career. Yeah, I would love to find that. I just don't wish I knew what it was, what it is, but, okay. Well, you have trust. (laughs) That's where you you put trust into uh, what your team has uh, in store for you. Um, You got to remember some things are left better unsaid. Remember that because things, things line up for you in a way uh, that will bring in synchronicities and bring in an understanding of where it is you're supposed to be because right now you really don't know where you want to be. And the key word there is want. All right, where does Lori want to be with herself at this moment? It's a good question. I know know that I do want a purposeful life. I want something where I'm... Helping others, and I still want to make What brings money. you joy? Helping, what motivating brings you joy? Them, making others feel better, motivating them, helping them. Okay, so entrepreneur, uh, um, possibly some entrepreneurship of motivational speaker. There, uh, shoot, you could easily teach webinars about. Off the wall, uh, excuse my French, but off the wall shit, and people pay you for it. Okay, well, I, believe me. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't been looking. The possibilities are limitless. When do you the, When do you think I'll first hear about it? When I'm. So well, you're going to hear about it right directly about um, things. Six, I'm seeing 15, 16, 17, in between there. Okay. Of this of this month or next month, though? Of next month. 
Okay. Gotta, uh, you give her. T- yeah, you're going to give or take because uh, you want to give or take at least uh, seven days um, because the timeline, especially with uh, with the timeline shifting and um, and the stargates coming through uh, timelines and uh, and a lot of time is going to be lost because of the shift. All right, and uh, the Schumann resonance is already. Um, pulsing uh, very rapidly underneath our feet. So it's going to be uh, awaking a lot of um, uh, a lot of shit within our um, within our soul up. So uh, do go ahead and make yourself aware that what what exactly was happening with you in, uh, um, in 2015. Um. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Fifteen, two. I was just working, doing the same stuff that I've been doing at different companies. Um, you you mentioned had, about something or something about in the fall of 2015. Well, what's the significance about it? Are they telling you? I'm not so sure of the significance they're mentioning. Uh, the fall of 2015. Well, but why are they mentioning it? Sarah? They're not saying why they're mentioning it? Yes, they were uh, telling me why I would, uh, why they were mentioning it. I would tell you why they were mentioning it. That's the reason why I'm asking you. <laughs> it should jog a memory. I, yeah, I can't really... Qu- I have to go back and look at my resume to figure it out because I can't really remember... Um, I had, a, had anything jog your memory during that time, like of, um, of like, uh, let's see, September, October, November. Well, my birthday is in October. Okay, so with your birthday being in October, um. Uh, was there any strange feelings or any uh, strange coincidences that happened um, during the October-November uh, energy? No, not not that I can think of. Because uh, they're mentioning as something that you're uh, they're mentioning as something that you must release. I'm just going to drive you nuts, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. But what is it? I don't understand why they're breaking Thanks. it off. So. Okay. Well, it's not like they're going to tell me why they're bringing it up, but they're, that's something for you to dig at. Okay. This is this is what you call um, belief work. All right. Um what were some of the, uh, what were some of the energies, or what were some of the issues, or what were some of the things that uh, were going on uh, back in uh, the energy of 2015 for you? I know it's two years ago, three years ago, but or yeah, two years ago, but uh, it, it should jog a little bit of something. Was it a career change, a love change, um, money uh, increase, uh, a loss? Uh, a loss of not knowing what to do? Um, I lost my job. Oh, you lost your job. Okay. So uh, there you go with, some, uh, with the loss of the job. Uh, so the loss of the job, um, how quickly did you pick up a new job? Pretty quickly, correct? Uh, you know, I have to figure this out. Let me look. I'm looking on my. I'm looking right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that was fifteen. Oh, um. So okay, so I was working. I was working at a company. It took me a while pick up another job actually okay so right there and now that you know that it took you a while to um to pick up that um pick up the next job 
Now you know that that uh, pattern has been broken because you're releasing that pattern now. All right. So w with the upcoming job, it's not going to take you forever and a day to find a new job. All right. Since you're asking about the career set, uh, uh, within the career energy of your life, um, that is basically what uh, they were getting at with um, with the energy of uh, the November 2015. Well the October, November, 2015. Okay. 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 And then, plus, I, I discovered some feathers and stuff, too, on my last day of my the one contract. I found three feathers that day. And well, there you go. Those feathers. Those feathers are good, uh, are good luck. Those feathers are good luck and basically means that... Uh, that people uh, that you're being listened to. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, something's gonna come. I I believe it. I just wish I knew what the 180 thing was all about. <laughs> it would help. But well, what I do you do? What do you do for a living now? I I develop training and uh, sometimes I run training programs. All right, so you develop a training program. Have you ever thought about teaching? Actually teaching well, sometimes, live. Sometimes I do train, too. I do the stand-up training sometimes as well. Okay. So that may uh, increase or uh, or it may totally take a whole 180 to where, uh, where it totally makes... Um, uh, where you totally be teaching something totally different. Okay, uh, possibly something to uh, totally you absolutely love to teach. You have to remember the possibilities are endless at this moment. And with as much energy that we have. Uh, running through um our atmosphere and uh and our reality at this time um the energy is immense and very intense and um and you need to make sure that you uh stay grounded in your uh stay grounded in your power okay thanks Brian okay. I appreciate it. yeah you are very Thank welcome dear you're very welcome. You too, Thank sweetie. You. you too. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, so we have another phone caller, and this phone caller with the area code 401. Area code 401, first name and question. Yes, hi. Yes, I just wanted to see what you can see for me coming up going through a difficult time in my life right now and if you see okay what's your first name sweetie? it's fernanda okay and give me your birthday Seven twenty-five sixty-seven. okay all right so um the difficult time in your life at the moment uh is due to the uh it's basically the fifty two day um mark right before um basically right before your birthday. You always go fifty two days before your birthday, you go into a transformational period. So that difficult time you're ending a cycle within your life and that cycle within your life is basically um it's uh, ending and you're getting ready to go into a new door and a new door is about to open for you. Exactly uh, um there seems well, this to be has been some... going on for six months. Um it's actually a separation. Um going through a separation right now. Um okay. and we filed for divorce but I don't want to even though I filed for divorce, I really don't want the divorce. It's lagging, and isn't I've it? been and I've been told that he really doesn't want the divorce as well, even though he's being really difficult and really nasty right now. Uh, well, it's being drawn out because uh, this de 
decision was made on uh, on a this this decision of divorce or uh, separation was uh, made on bad feelings. Okay, not necessarily um, not necessarily on level headed feelings. So that's the mm-hmm. reason why both of you are like um, a little bit um, pushy in terms of changing decisions as well as also um uh as well as also con- continuing on with the current decisions. So it's really up in the air at this particular moment. I wouldn't make no part- um particular decision uh on your part uh if you haven't already had a firm decision uh come over you. Um I wouldn't say make your decision until after uh, at least the fifth or the beginning of the fifteenth, uh, and uh, you need to get clear, very clear of this Scorpio energy before you uh, make that decision. Mm-hmm. I'm not making. Uh, I haven't not making a decision. Like I said, I did file um, only because he's currently with another woman. But even though it's a very toxic relationship, them too. And like I said, he as of right now we don't speak. He's become mm-hmm. very nasty, but has also been told that he at least, you know, he said that he really doesn't want the divorce. So I, I don't know. He hasn't told me that specifically to myself, but we've had court dates. He wants and he his cake and eat it. He wants his mm-hmm. cake and eat it too. But mm-hmm. he and you got to re- uh, remember that you can't let him take your power like that um, because right. you don't deserve that. You uh, you are too much of a uh, uh, well. I'm gonna say you are too much of a lady for him to, or for you to allow him to do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you see a re- reconciliation or anything like that? There. This other woman, um, because like I said, they fight constantly. They on and off, on and off. But for some reason, she's controlling him so badly that he somehow step away. Okay, so, um, hmm. All right, so, uh, do you. All right, so I get a, uh, a sort of like a, a little bit of a, uh, kind of like a shade thrown here. All right, so the shade right here I'm uh, seeing is, uh, something is, um, uh, something here is, basically looking to me like um, you are, I guess you would say, making accusations of uh, of something going on uh, with your husband or something um, making uh, or influencing him. Um, me? Because uh, is, do you feel as if something is influencing him? Oh, yes. Certainly not me, but yes, definitely yes. Okay, because um, that's where that shade throws up. All right, and what yes, I mean by she's shade, she's gotten involved in uh, in drugs and alcohol. Okay, all right. So with uh, with the drugs and alcohol, is this a uh, a speedy type drug because the heart is pumping I- really fast? He has heart problems. He's had a heart okay. attack in the past. All right. Because and he's I'm actually stopped taking this. his heart medication because of her. Okay. All right. Now, you have to remember, this is not, um, this is not no magic, no black magic, right. no gray magic, no white magic, or anything like that uh, that is involved here, okay? You mm-hmm. have to understand that this is more of uh, this is more of influential um, uh, an influential excuse my French but an influential bitch okay yes and, <laughs> thank uh, you yes you said it I didn't <laughs> and yes that lady right there she was after uh, him she was after him for the money he had a business well mm-hmm. he has a business but the business is going actually down the drain because of. A, everything that he's doing right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, I will tell you, I will tell you, 
if you do choose to uh, rekindle with him and uh, reconciliation, you will have to pick up his credit um, because his credit is going to hell. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. That's so, true. That's true. Um, so this is not about this is not about um, um, taking people underneath your wing like you always do. This is about worrying about you. Yeah, yeah. I tend to do that. I'm a, a teacher for special ed students, so I mm-hmm. I carry that with me everywhere else. You're a nurturer. I take everybody under my You're a wing. Nurturer. Yes. Exactly. And the and you got to remember, you got to remember the nurturer will be the person that uh, that someone calls on because you know you, uh, they'll know you can get shit done. Mhm. Mhm. All right. And so you knew that you got, when he left. He always said that you always get everything done. Mhm. So you got to remember, it's time for you to get shit done for yourself. Mhm. Oh, I am. I am. I just, I, because the way, like I told you, he stopped taking his medication. He's going down the spiral. Very toxic relationship. I really feel bad for him. And I'm trying to help him. I want to help him come out of it. Even if it's no reconciliation, but at least to become the man that he once was. Okay, but don't let him, don't let him uh, uh, suck you dry. Okay? Don't let Mm -hmm. him suck you dry because... This influential lady is uh, is also um, is also sucking him dry as well. Mhm. Mhm. All right. Do you see and her you leaving? Want... But do you see her leaving uh, him like within a couple months uh, or because of the well, way the things are going little, right now? It's going to take a little bit for. Uh, for some sense to be knocked in, uh, knocked into the hubby's head, but um, eventually, once he's uh, he's broken and has nobody else, uh, yeah, most definitely he will. You will what, leave her, or she'll leave him, or you'll come back. What, uh, what do you it's see? It's going to be it's going to be more like uh, she'll leave him. Because she, mm-hmm. you know exactly, just as well as I do, that uh, the lady is, um, uh, I would call her the um, the basic, hmm. She's not. Hmm. She's one of, the, she's known as the marriage breaker. And she's a woman, I think she's cheated on him several times. Let's put it this way. So trying to put it mildly, <laughs> not to call her what I think everybody calls her. Uh, you know who she kind of reminds me of? Have you ever heard, uh, saw um, uh, the Adams family, the Fester Adams, uh, the Black Widow? Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, that uh, she reminds me of a um, a skanky debutante trying to um, thank you. Yes, trying to very skanky. Pickpocket, um, pickpocket mm-hmm. old men, and um, kind of roll their life mm-hmm. and take them away mm-hmm. from their family. Mhm, mhm. That's exactly what she does. Yes. And like no, I said, she got involved will, with him because it will he knew he had money in the company. It will and eventually about... reverse itself. It will eventually reverse itself, but this is, you got to think, this is some of this, uh, excuse my French, but some of this shit uh, that yeah. he's uh, getting uh, done to him, it's karma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, karma. You, yeah, so, but you think she, so she will leave him eventually, though? Like, you see, um, eventually, see yes, like, I do see, but I do see once, see, once the, Bank account is uh, is too low to where she can't make a uh, withdrawal. That's bye bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I hate to say it. I like don't think that, she but... has. I don't. I, well, she doesn't have access to his bank account, but the lifestyle that they live in. Uh, not right yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. She. But the lifestyle that they live in. Yes. So the only thing is. Um, I know that he's going to be started paying some, for some, um, like, our bills. 
this month he was supposed to and he hasn't and actually so i think that she's also holding him back from that but he has a um and the now. thing i can best tell you with that honey is uh go knock on that door and collect your money for them pay, uh, for them um for them bills mm-hmm. well there's a quarter because that's already you don't, in play uh, if you don't go uh if you don't go collect that money for them bills, those bills won't get paid except out of your pocket. Mhm. Okay. All right. So. So I'm just, I'm just wondering that once he starts paying those, like, because there is a court order now for it, um, actually mm-hmm. a contempt of court order, um, that once he starts doing that, that she'll realize that, or not yet. You know what um. I mean? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Yeah. You gotta, uh, you, you gotta give this woman uh, uh, a little bit of problem. I don't know what uh, what she's doing or uh, what she got going on, um, uh, going on that uh, that you don't got going on. But uh, it's almost like um, I think he's just kind of chasing the high at the moment. Exactly. That's exactly it. Because even this whole family and everything don't understand what he's doing. Everybody's against him right now for what he's doing. Against it. Yeah, I get a lot of. How did you leave a wife? How did you leave the wife that you had for this person that's in such a toxic relationship? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. But I am glad I could help you, sweetie. I'm glad I could help. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Just confirmed pretty much. And like I said, I was just wondering about if she would, if they would leave, and if there was any type of reconciliation. But that's what I was really wondering. Well, you, um, well, I feel as if you got your answer. So um, yes. just continue to have faith, and if you uh, continue on to um, back him through his decisions, back him through it. Um, but thank you for calling in to the Magical Journey Show, and uh, thank you. I look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you. Have a blessed night. Thank you. All right. You have one. Uh, you have a good night, too. Bye-bye. Okay. So we're coming to an end of the Magical Journey Show, uh, uh, and I am your host, Reverend Brian Rawls. I uh, would like to thank uh, Reverend Tiffany White Sageman for um, producing the A Magical Journey show. And I would like to let all of y'all know that uh, y'all can catch me live in probably about um, probably about five to ten uh, five to ten minutes. Just have to grab me a quick drink, and then I'll be live and be waiting for your questions on Facebook Live. Um, I should be on the personal uh, web page, which is Brian Rawls hyphen Dolger. All right, see y'all then. Thank you very much, and let angel wings guide your dreams. Blessed be and Namaste. Bye now. Daddy, where do babies come from? Uh. Well, uh... Honey? Mommy went to the store. Oh, well, you see, um... Well, there's a mommy and a daddy, right? Right. And see, when they call Geico, uh, they could save a bunch of money on car insurance. Oh, really? And that makes them happy? Yes, that makes them very happy. That's good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we could have this talk, sunshine. (laughs) Geico, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer.